In this video, we will introduce you to the basic elements of the Elecard StreamEye software interface designed to provide video quality analysis capabilities to ensure encoder validation and compliance. StreamEye also has companion products such as Quality Estimator, which calculates video quality metrics, and Stream Analyzer, which is designed for syntax analysis of formats such as AVC, HVC, and MP4 file containers. StreamEye is the tool that inspects, tests, and debugs the entire decoding code process. It allows you to validate encoder compliance, ensure compatibility with the widest range of decoders. It provides a means to automate and document motion vectors, reference frames, statistics extraction, and side-by-side -side comparisons. The product supports MPEG-1, MPEG-2, AVC, HEVC, VP9 elementary streams that may be opened directly from transport program stream or extract from AVI, MP4, MKV or IVF containers for VP9 video format. StreamEye is available in both Windows and Mac OS. Flexible interface customization is a key to improve documentation and productivity. You can freely change the location of the functional box and save up to four presets by assigning them to hotkeys. This allows you to adapt the interface to your tasks with maximum efficiency. Let's get acquainted with the StreamEye interface by opening a file. Use the Open File Open Reference dialog box to select the desired media file. You will be asked to select a particular elementary video stream from the container as well as the raw uncompressed video data and raw data from which this stream was coded in order to perform a comparison and calculate the quality metric. In addition, the extract function is available to free the elementary stream from container headers and to speed up the stream operation. After opening the file, the indexing process begins in order to collect the general stream parameters. Next, parsing is performed with the code to collect more detailed information, bit distribution, metric calculation, thumbnail creation, and so on. You can disable this functionality through options to reduce the CPU load and memory usage. You can start working with the program directly while both processes are running until they are complete. The stream block displays general information. Stream type, profile, level, resolution, bit allocation, frame statistics, EPSNR, and general bit distribution. If stream is large and parsing is not complete, data will be updated in live mode. In the stream viewer block, stream structure is displayed as a text tree. All parameters can be viewed. On the hex viewer tab, bit stream is presented in the 16 bit and binary forms. The message tab contains messages on the discrepancy with the standard. The buffer tab displays the VBV model graph for AVC and HVC streams. Key to this product is that all windows are correlated and track each other. We did this to simplify your analysis work. The blocks of information are synchronized for easy navigation. When you select a message in the message box, its location is correlated and displayed in the stream and hacks viewers. To navigate through the stream, three functional interface elements are used bar chart, thumbnails, and area chart. The main one is the bar chart, where we see a graphical representation of all the frames. Their color corresponds to their type, their height corresponds to their size and bytes. Also, there is a display of the DPB buffer fullness, bitrate graph changes, average quantizer, and PSNR. In the thumbnails tab, as parsing progresses, frame thumbnails appear. In the area chart tab, Statistics on the bit distribution of coding elements in the bit stream are available graphically. In all three cases, when you point over a specific frame, a tooltip with more detailed information is displayed. The area chart is adjusted through the special functional box. For all three tabs, it's possible to change the scaling and the order of frame presentation, stream order display order, and to select or disable specific elements for presentation. In addition, the toolbar presents with the possibility to play, rewind, and navigate step-by-step -step in any available mode. For example, navigation by display, stream order, by IPB frames, and by keyframes. The ability to search by parameters is available, by the number in the stream, display, order, as well as by time and offset.
When positioning on a specific frame, you can get more detailed information about it on the Picture tab, which lists the main encoding and parameters of a given frame. The Prediction tab contains information about the prediction types used for this frame. The Headers tab displays all the headers used for the current frame. Also, at the bottom of the interface, by default, there is a DPB tab for viewing the current state of the decoder buffer and the roughly state used for prediction. The visual representation of the various stages of coding is available in the central part of the interface and is divided into several components, decoded, the final picture that users will see, as well as predicted, unfiltered and residual. There is also a reference tab if the corresponding uncompressed original video is open. To see the difference between these tabs, the difference function is available in the toolbar, where you can select the type of difference to display and several states for comparison for which you want to calculate the difference. This will display the difference tab, which will display the resulting difference. For example, when using the temperature method, a picture with black, blue, green, red color transitions will appear, depending on the pixel difference. For detailed information about the coefficients, the pixels block is used, where the information about all the pixels in a certain state, decoded, predicted, difference, is stored. To view more detailed information on how the picture is encoded, it is necessary to select the frame encoding parameters of interest in the overlays menu or on the toolbar. Accordingly, it will be possible to see, for example, which slices, tiles, partitions, predictions, macro block types, sizes of these blocks, as well as CAO in the case of HVC format, and the representation of quantizers were used. All this is available for detailed customization and adaptation to user tasks. To provide flexible detailed settings for display of frame encoding parameters, there is a special functional block, overlay config, where a change in the color palette, transparency, selection of the range for displaying dimensions, quantizers, and difference in PS and R, length of displayed motion vectors, etc. are available. When navigating to a certain frame block, we can find out all the detailed information about it in block info. For the convenience of presenting this information, there is a block presenter, a functional block with increased display of this particular frame block. There is a full synchronization of navigation between these two functional blocks. There is a display of the DPB buffer fullness, bitrate graph changes, average quantizer, and PSNR. Using the listening mode on the toolbar, you can synchronize two or more instances, simultaneously running versions of the StreamEye for point-by-point -point specific analysis of the streams by frames or macro blocks. This functionality may be useful for comparing the video sequences coded by different encoders or by using various settings to rank compression efficiency, for example, prediction or partitioning, and coding quality, for example, PSNR comparison. All information provided by the program can be saved via the corresponding menu in the program interface, for example, the Stream tab, or YAV data, or the specific representation, image, etc. It is also possible to use the console version of the program for quick and flexible configuration of what needs to be stored from all the stream information collected by the program. We understand that sometimes you may need help. Elecard has a support team as well as a business team that can help structure a solution for you. We are able to help address all your vid analysis needs from Bitstream to container analysis, 